Greetings from Cybertron. This is Soundjack here with a review of the Transformers Bop Bots Series 3 Fresh Squeezes. I finally have all of Series 3, so now I can get on to the reviews for the Series 3 Bop Bots. And of course, we're starting off with the new teams, and the first one ta we're talking about is the Fresh Squeezes, who are all, uh, you know, fresh and healthy themes, you know? Trend blend. We got avocados, grapes, trendy drinks, pineapples, all that good stuff. Uh, so, quick round of size comparisons, and now we'll get looking into each of them individually. Here they are with a couple of current Battle Masters and Micro Masters, a tiny Turbo Changer, a current Deluxe Class and Voyager Class figure, and a not so current Legends Class figure. So, with that done, we're gonna go, as always, from left to right. So, we're starting with Avocan Do. Uh, the avocado that is always motivating you to get to eat healthier and I guess get healthier too But also eat healthier. Uh, there is no gender pronoun. So I will be referring to them as they throughout this review uh, Avocado, obviously avocado green all around you got some holes But those are for if you happen to swallow one so you can breathe so that's understandable got a little stem the texturing on the avocado is very nice uh, however, uh, it doesn't want to perfectly close. Like, this is the tightest you can get it, and this is me holding it down with all of my force. Oh, you know what? Maybe that just straightened it out. Like, okay. I mean, I had another one, uh, and it had the same weight, but, like, still, this seam is a little off. I understand it's soft plastic, so maybe I just need to put it to a hair dryer to get it straight out, but just be aware that is a, that is, there's definitely going to be a large seam there once you first do it. And I mean, it's besides the issue with this, the seams, it's honestly pretty, per, per, pretty much um, all the way there. There's not much more to say. So transformation wise, uh, to transform, you are going to split the avocado pieces in half. Uh, and we're coming around and they're gonna fall off. Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. And then we're gonna pull the arms out. Pull the arms out. And then pull the legs down. And there is Avocandu in their robot mode. Um, very much appreciate the, the inside of the avocado being part of, his be of their belly, I should say. Very nice, I like the darker green on the helmet and using lighter green for the torso and the limbs. Uh, it's pretty neat, tiny little green fists You are very nice. A little bit of a blue visor and being like, you, they've got that can-do can attitude face going on. As well as it looks like brown slicked back hair. I guess that's what that's supposed to be. Uh, not a whole lot of detail on the feet though and the only articulation really is the arms that can do a 360. Uh, the Autocavo has, um, uh, okay, so this is the problem I have with this one. Unfortunately, the avocado halves have a very strong tendency to fall off the ball joints they are on. So it's they're, they're a little trickier to pose. Um, but you they, the ball joints themselves have a little bit of movement so you can get them to spread out a little bit more and then you have to pinch them in a bit to get them to close for avocado mode. Um, but a, it, just with how big they are, it's a little hard to do things with, though it definitely helps make sure they are standing. Uh, but that is pretty much Avocan do. Right there. And then next we have Bunches, who transforms into a bunch of grapes. Uh, and he loves doting on his friends. You get it because it's very common in media to have like a bunch of grapes if you're like doting on someone, like just over their mouth while they're leaning back on a couch or in the pool and they're just eating the grapes off the bunch. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate that. I very much appreciate the, the kind of reference they're going for. Uh, and again, bunch of grapes. You got purple bubbles all over, purple grapes all over. You got a bit of a leaf up here. The only uh, imperfection besides the seams is this pink bit in the back here. Uh, but again, this is a perfectly solid bunch of grapes. Transformation. Uh, we are going to pull this arm out to the side. 
we're gonna and this is one fills in the seam very well this arm okay maybe hold on i'm gonna rotate that down lift the top up and then we're gonna pull this arm out like so like so then these two giant chunks just rotate back and uh, lift the head up a little bit and then uh, there is bunches in his robot mode and he's 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 uh, I don't the kibble really can't <laughs> sit up more straight than that so like he's always like when he's standing he's always just like forcibly looking down it just it's just it's just a spread out bunch of grapes i mean there is a robot underneath all of that which has got a pink torso a happy smiling mouth some white paint and some green green shoes uh but you can also look up in there and tell there are no eyes unless that green visor is supposed to be eyes actually it's probably sorry the green visor if you can even see it in this light there we go that might be can you can you even see that can you see that yeah just that little green visor and because there's also a little white ears but the head does not come up much further than that so he's just always wearing it's always just like a shaggy dog uh the 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 the, the trailing grapes are always gonna be a little downward so and they they only just rotate you can bend them a bit with the soft plastic but that might make it harder for them to sit properly in the alt mode and then articulation is the arms can rotate 360 and then you can close the hat in different ways but the hat will the top will only fit on one certain direction so just so you know for when you attempt to transform uh but that is bunches and it's just let's can i can i get you to sit a bit straighter okay that's fine bunches is there and then we have latte spice whirl who turns into a drink cup uh one that's similar to a coffee cup but uh this one is clear well of course it's a coffee because it's a latte what am i talking about i know my drinks i know them so they are a coffee cup uh and latte spice whirl is a uh, female and is a very popular drink, but she can't stand all of the attention, so she only comes out once a year. Do you get it? She's a pumpkin spice latte. Do you get it? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, she's pumpkin spice latte, clearly. And her name's Latte Spice Whirl. Uh, but the cup is very nice orange. There's a brown stripe around to mimic the, the cardboard um, that you get. Uh, with coffee cups and this was used to make coffee prime from the con crew set as well and there's just this little bit of like a uh, like, uh, like white kind of skin color i don't uh, or, or kind of like a weird yellow white color i don't know what to call that color but it's that color right there uh, and then the top is just pure white uh, a little bit of gappage here and a bit of gappage up at the front but uh, for the most part it's pretty clean uh, transformation wise we are going to lift the top we're gonna pull the arms out to the sides like so uh, fold the legs down and then flip this chest panel down and there is a latte spice whirl in her robot mode and she is definitely in a whirl <laughs> probably from all the attention or because she was very well stirred before being served um, yeah so uh there's very nice uh like detail on the chest with the there's with the detail and with the painting it kind of i don't know it, it, i i don't know what to describe it but it's like interesting just with what it is uh just because it's like a weird faded on brown like maybe like some probably the pumpkin spice itself just that then that just stuck to it rather than mixing in properly but that'd be a nice touch um and then the arms they're just kind of weird well okay so she does have arms here that's the hands but these bits here are meant to be three, three millimeter corpse to hold accessories oh and speaking of which those two cannot hold any bot bots related accessories uh and i say that 
right now because it will be important in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so that is Latte Spice Whirl. And then the legs can fold up. And uh, just in case if you're curious, no, she does not have coffee in her brains like Energies does. <laughs> uh, but uh, unrelated. But anywho, that is... Is... Latte Spice Whirl. Latte Spice Whirl in her robot mode. And then we probably have my new, my favorite bot from this team, Sensei Spiny, the pineapple warrior dedicated to cutting out calories and replacing your greasy foods with fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, yeah, so he is a pineapple that lives under the sea, not Spongebob. Uh, though he is yellow on top and brown at the bottom, so I don't know. <laughs> anyway, since he's spiny, he, like I said, is a pineapple. Very nicely detailed pineapple. Feels like it could almost be sharp, but it isn't. Uh, again, brown at the bottom. You do have arms in this hinge that are pretty obvious. And then the nice greenery on top, which is pretty heckin' neat. Uh, Transformation-wise... Uh, we are going to come down here, pull his feet down. Uh, we're going to come pull his arms out from the sides, pull the arm out from the sides, and then we flip the face down. And there is Sensei Spiny in his robot mode, and he is a cool warrior guy. He's got a scar over his eyes, got some nice green eyes, a scowl and a little green top, a little bit of brown leafage there. Uh, I guess that's, um, I don't know, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe his, his, his skirt or something? I don't know. Maybe he's a Hawaiian warrior, that's what he's supposed to be. I, I get, maybe that's part of the inspiration, but I don't know. Or uh, a Pacific, Isl Pacific Islander, I shouldn't generalize. Uh, but that is, and while he does have the 360 articulation and actually the feet for some reason have a little bit of give so they can tilt a little bit back and tilt a little bit forward. Uh, but the main thing and main cool thing about Sensei Spiny is you can come up here, you can pull that leaf out, just slides on in there. It sticks in very tightly and doesn't feel like it'll fall out. Uh, but then you can take that out put it in his hand and now he is wielding a sword and that looks very good and I very much a, and while I'm very pleased with Hamurai who did the same thing I do end up liking this way of doing it a little better just because then there's still something on top where with Hamurai he just doesn't have his bone on his head so he feels a little bald on top but I mean it's not a bad thing I'm just saying it's just like if I had to pick out of those two, I would choose this one just because of the... He still has his top. It just doesn't have the big... Whoops. Big green leaf up there. Uh, but yeah, that is Sensei Spiny in robot mode. And then we have Smurg the Sad, who is a color lift, recolor, redeco. Redeco of... Redeco. Yeah, I was right the first time. Of... Um, Wow, why can't I remember? Root Wing from Series 1, turning into a spinach plant. Uh, yeah, male. I couldn't remember the pronouns. Male uh, is Smurg the Sad, and Smurg the Sad is sad because he is spinach, but he wants to be as popular as like some of the greasy food like pizza and burgers, but he knows that'll never happen. He's too nutritious. Uh, but, uh, you got a bit of a, a lighter yellowy green for the leaves going on. You still got brown at the trunks. And what's very nice here is that they painted all the way around the pot. Uh, whereas, like, the, the size of Root Wings, of Root Wings legs were unpainted. Here on Smurg the Sad, they are painted the blue that meshes with the pot, but still have those kind of roots coming out, which is, I like, which I like. Though, unfortunately, this tail isn't sticking, and it looks like because the tail hinge is a little warped back here. I'm try to see if I can't fix that with the, uh, the hair dryer as well. It's all soft plastic. Uh, well, now i got to see if I can't get it back on there. Maybe. Okay. Note to self, don't do that. <laughs> uh, but anywho, transformation-wise, uh, you're going to fold that tail back. You're going to... Spread the wings 
out, and then you're going to come, pull that down, rotate up, let's say I'm on the other side, rotate, rotate up, there we go, Smurg the Sad in robot mode, and he is a dragon just like Rootwing was. Uh, again, nice detailing on the inside, very much appreciate the asymmetrical branches that are his wing arm things, I don't know what the, the appropriate term for that would be, but like how they come out of the body, they look like arms that then end in wings. Oh, that's never happened before, I just pulled the Baldwin under there. I've genuinely never done that on this mold, or Rootwing for that matter. Uh, but anywho, yeah, he's got some little blue eyes going on, uh, nice chest detailing, like the, I do very much appreciate the feet on his tail, as always, very nice. So, that is Root, uh, not Root Wing, Smurg the Sad in his robot mode. And lastly, we have Trendblend, who is a Ritico color lift, uh, recolor of the, the smoothie, the smoothie, the, 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 the uh, Ritico of Sippy Slurps. Sorry, I just forgot for a second. I could not think of the name. Uh, but yeah, this is a Ritico of Sippy Slurps, so pretty nice, but redone as like a health drink smoothie, probably. Probably a smoothie of some type, a health drink, but still health drink. And he is a nutritional scientist making sure he has the latest trendy drinks that will give you the best nutritional boost, according to what they say. Uh, <laughs> nice, uh, like blue, blue color around the cup, nice green and leafy colors on the, f uh, on the front of the cup. Uh, very nice, the lighter green on top, which is shared with that leaf decoration, and this darker blue at the bottom of the straw is also pretty nice. Besides the seams, it's pretty, pretty solid. Uh, so, transformation, we're gonna lift the head up. We're gonna pull the the arms out. Just there we go. Pull the those arms out. Pull those arms out. There we go. And then pull the legs down at an angle. So that's how they move. And there is Trend Blend in his robot mode, and he is despite being a Drink scientist that promises the nutritious and tasteful drinks. He looks like he's gonna throw up from his own concoctions. I don't know. <laughs> uh, nice dark blue coloring on the face. Nice that lighter green uh, for eyes and the weird smile, and whatnot. Nice green on the chest. Uh, a little bit of detailing on the lower torso and arms, and then just planks for feet, and then these little weird clips for arms, but can hold the 5mm weapons. For articulations, it's pretty much the arms can go out and in, and the legs can go out and in, but that's about it. And that's it for Trend Blend. And I did forget to briefly talk about um, Smurg the Sad's articulation. Legs are on ball joints here. Uh, torso bits are on ball joints, as well as the ends of the wings. So they're on ball joints, and this is on a hinge. So you can do a little bit of posing with Smirk the sad. And that is everything to say about the fresh squeezes, so let's get into some robot mode size comparisons. Here they are next to a couple Battle Masters and Micro Masters, a tiny Turbo Changer, a current Deluxe Class and Voyager Class figure, a not so current Legends Class figure, and of course with the channel's mascots Soundwave and Wheeljack. So yeah, the fresh squeezes are quite a bit of fun. Four brand new molds will technically well, you did come out before the Conqueror's set. I just didn't get you for a while. Um, and uh, just two recolors, color lifts, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but yeah, uh, very fun set. Uh, great. The, the grapes, unfortunately, is probably the worst one just because of... I can't even see the body when it's normally standing. I just... Mm. But uh, like nice, deep, nice, nice touch on avocado. The, the avocado house can be tricky. Uh, Latte Spice Whirl, I appreciate very much with the bio and the colors, since mine is, again, my favorite. Smirk the Sad and Trend Blend, I mean, recolors, but very nice recolors, I must say. But that is all I have to say about the Series 3 Fresh Squeezes, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at soundjack426. Also, if you would like to help support the channel, you can check out my coffee account and leave a donation if you wish, or you can check out any of my commissions that are up on there right now. 
And you should also check out RDSJ Gaming, where I play video games with Alyssa, aka the Rational Dove. And with that being said, thanks for tuning in. This is Soundjack signing off.